So there's been an AI breakthrough called ChatGPT. It's an artificial intelligence language model trained by OpenAI, and it can answer intelligently any of your deepest and darkest questions. ChatGPT is free to use, and some people are predicting it's going to be the death of Google. And if you ask me, I agree. I mean, let's just have a look at its user growth. To reach a million users, Netflix took 41 months. Twitter took 24 months, Facebook 10 months, two and a half months for Instagram, and ChatGPT reached 1 million users in just five days. This year is going to be an insane year for the breakout of artificial intelligence. And this technology is about to expand human capacity in a way that is incomprehensible to us right now. But one thing is for sure, the first movers and the people on the frontier of this technological revolution are going to make life-changing fortune, just like the earliest social media adopters and the earliest internet adopters before them. So in this video, I want to help you get started and open your eyes to new possibilities with the eight business ideas that you can start today using ChatGPT, or more accurately, the intelligence engine behind it called GPT-3. And stay to the end for a fun bonus where we ask ChatGPT exactly what it thinks the top eight ideas are itself. All I ask in return is you hit that like button down below for me, put on your robo hat, and let's jump in. Awesome, so the most important thing I want you to take away from this video is this sweet graphic I made for us. Because if you understand exactly what ChatGPT is capable of, you not only will be able to understand the eight opportunities we're about to go through on a deeper level, but you'll even have the capacity and understanding to come up with your own business ideas as well. So you should think of GPT-3 as a river of accessible intelligence, very comparable to the internet that brought an accessible river of people to businesses all over the world. But if you think about how the internet has evolved, we don't have one business that owns it or one website that tries to do everything. But the river's next natural evolution was to segment and specialize. With the internet, we segmented into things like e-commerce, communication, and games. And then within those segments, you saw businesses build and become incredibly successful. ChatGPT will be doing the exact same thing. It's an incredible river of intelligence slowly breaking into specialized and segmented use cases as we speak. Things like creative writing, text to image, and even personal assistance. And within these segments, first movers and businesses are popping up to become incredibly successful. For example, in the creative writing segment, take a look at jasper.ai. It was just valued at $1.5 billion. And what does does it do? It has you input your business, your product, and your customer information and uses AI to generate creatives for your business, such as Facebook ad. Instead of trying to create 100 pieces of content a day over 10 days, Jasper.ai will be able to create a 1,000 pieces of content for you in minutes. In text to image, we have a few businesses popping up. Lenza is currently at the top of the app store, and it's an app that uses AI to generate images of yourself or others. You basically feed it a few images of what you currently look like. It's gonna model you and your face into any situation that you want. This is something that would have cost you thousands of dollars to get an artist to do for you just a couple of years ago. And in the segmentation of an assistant, we have a really cool app called Do Not Pay. And Do Not Pay will negotiate you cheaper deals, connect you with your gas, electricity, or other bill providers, providers through live chat to save you hundreds of dollars by negotiating on your behalf. It'll also cancel auto renewing subscriptions, fight parking fines, or even chase down money you're owed from an old friend. So with this understanding, let's have a look at some new segmentations and businesses that are going to be popping up from this massive river of intelligence. Now the first is probably the most natural use case, and everyone really has at the moment an AI general assistant, whether that be Alexa or Siri or even Bixby. But just like that do not pay app, the trick is going to be to niche down into a really thin sliced market. I mean, you don't really want Siri giving you fitness advice. You then train up a specialized language model for that niche and provide a really clean user interface for your customers to use. You could train your AI model to specialize and offer coaching in something like fitness, travel, or even finance. For example, they could learn the investing and saving philosophies of Graham Stephan by inputting his entire back catalog of videos, and then the finance AI will be able to monitor your spending patterns, your bank accounts, your investments, and provide you feedback on what are things you should do in order to hit your financial goal. Business idea number two. This is one that I'd personally love to use or even create myself. Because as we just learned, we can train AI models to actually model a real person, just like we modeled Graham Stephan in the last idea. Now, the more input that you give the AI model, the more accurate and smarter it will become. This is why if you've ever seen the Joe Rogan interviewing Steve Jobs fake interview, Joe Rogan sounds so incredible because he has tens of thousands of hours of him speaking on a microphone that the AI is taking into account. And you dabbled in Eastern mysticism there, right? 
Do you still go back and look at Hinduism and Buddhist texts and things? And with this in mind, there's a huge task for YouTubers and content creators to respond to their fan. And normally, if they're big enough, they only get two or three seconds to say thank you to each comment. But with a simple Chrome plugin powered by an AI model that learns your tone, your cadence, what you like to say, and how you'd normally respond to one of those comments, it could assist you in generating really meaningful and thoughtful responses that you're going to come in later and edit or reject or even just approve and have them post publicly to the website. And the best part is it'll be in your voice. And the awesome thing about this app as well, the more feedback that you give it by approving or rejecting or editing comments, the AI is going to be learning and getting better and better with every single comment. Which leads us to business idea number three, fully automated social media accounts and personality. Because the theory is in the future, a lot of the biggest influencers in the world will not actually be real people. And I mean, it's already happened. Little Michaela is a fictional AI who lives in AI and has almost 3 million followers on Instagram. And take a look at how easy it's now become to create an AI social media presence on almost any platform. Check out how mind-blowing this process posted by Caden Booth on TikTok is to create your own fully automated AI social media present. He said, go to ChatGPT and type, script me a 1500 word YouTube video about whatever topic you want. Copy your script into pictory.ai and push script to video, which will turn this worded script into a full video with B-roll. Then go to synesthesia.io and choose a realistic AI face for your channel to read the script as they come in. And with this insane speed of creating content, you could literally be creating thousands of pieces of content every single day. And it's very obvious to me that if you're a creator and you're not going to be using AI in the future to actually create your content, you're going to lose in the long term. Which takes us to business idea number four. One of the biggest industries that's being eaten up the fastest with AI is creative writing. And there's a really good reason for it because GPT-3 is pretty phenomenal at writing. Check out how quickly you can replicate an entire team of journalists at the New York Times. You go to the gpttimes.com and all you have to do is input up to three tweets, select a writing style and bam. You are now the New York Times. So think about how other writing intelligences might be useful or how creating literally millions of articles a day would be beneficial before everyone else catches on. Now, if you're interested in using cutting edge technology such as AI and blockchain to get ahead of the masses and join the front line of this tech revolution we're about to see in the 20s, you should consider if our Patreon is for you. We know the biggest wealth transfer in history is about to happen and it's only gonna benefit those who know how to create, build and invest before everybody else catches on. We track influencers, break down upcoming projects and find opportunities. I'll leave the link in the description below, but we open new spots when we drop a video and we've sold out every single time. So don't hesitate to join if this is for you and for everybody else, keep enjoying the free stuff. YouTube is the most popular social media channel and creators like Sunny V2 have been posting for years, have hundreds of YouTube videos and get 1.6 million views per day. Now an awesome way to get more views on old YouTube content is to split test the thumbs and titles of your old YouTube catalog. Mr. Beast talks about this all the time, even split testing the color of his shirts in old YouTube thumbnail. And sometimes when you get it just right, the YouTube video which was once dead takes off again. Tube GPT, that's the name I came up with, could create these thumbnails and titles and run these tests for you in the background at a speed never seen before. And if you could increase Sunny V2's content views, by just 25%, he's gonna get an extra 13 million views a month. And if he has the right funnel and backend and has his AdSense turned on, that could be an extra 50 to $100,000 to his bottom line per month. Which takes us to number six. Now this is an industry I'm not personally familiar with, but I am growing towards it more and more, especially considering what I'm about to say. I've heard people in the coding industry say that ChatGPT is revolutionary. Why? Because it has a feature and ability to be able to debug and test for weaknesses in your code. Better yet, it's going to empower people like myself who can't currently code to be able to build apps with no experience. Just like Instagram allows you to take photos and make them look like a professional photographer's without going through any training but just swiping a filter onto it. You can use this to build yourself apps to sell as a subscription or even create apps as a service. Which takes us on to business idea number seven. Now this is something I've been thinking about for a few years. And it's an interesting one that I think most people will initially resist. Because as you remember, you can teach your AI model to learn to be like someone specific. And the more input you give them, the smarter and more accurate they become. But obviously I realized a chat GPT model of someone isn't actually that person, but to the same degree that I recognize that a photo of someone isn't actually that person, but it's still really nice to have. I feel like there's a massive opportunity to train up a AI model to both look 
and sound like and think like someone you loved who is no longer with us. Taking all the video and images and writings they created while they were alive, feed it to the AI and you'll be able to see them, interact with them and talk to them in a way that might be really therapeutic. Now, saving the best idea to last. There's a website called character.ai where you can go and try and train a language model to represent anyone in the world, whether that's someone alive like Oprah Winfrey or even someone dead like Benjamin Franklin. Now, I personally create a dream board every year with people that I look up to and admire. I put that dream board on my wall and when I walk past it, I feel like I get some of their energy, or at least my perceptions on some of their philosophies and live my life more in line with them. But I imagine I could turn them into a 3D augmented reality experience that, with AI models that I could actually interact with. I actually know Tony Robbins has been working on this behind the scenes as the magnum opus of his life work. An AI language model that knows everything that he knows and has the technology and ability to scale to the point where he can have his teachings given out in the form of a Tony Robbins personal coach for everybody around the world. Now these are all pretty amazing ideas if I say so myself, but there's actually a big problem with most of them. The AI that we're actually using to create these business models is going to put these business models out of business themselves. For example, I say we can create millions of articles and then rank really highly on Google for a certain topic like blockchain, but in the future, when you're looking for information about blockchain, you're not going to Google to read these millions of articles, you're going to your AI assistant to explain it to you specifically tailored to your current knowledge and knowing your strengths and weaknesses in how you learn. So if you want to go deeper on this opportunity, make sure you hit that subscribe button. We have more content coming out on this topic if you like it. And if you want to go even deeper than that, make sure you check out a link to our Patreon in the description below.